Welcome to OptiFT2D's Photonic Crystal and Band Gap Simulation video. To build our Photonic Crystal, we used a built-in PBG editor to define lattice relation, atom properties, defects, and wave path. Photonic Crystal designs can be created in either two or three dimensions. Most Photonic Crystals have a periodic lattice, meaning that we can reduce the simulation size by using plane wave excitation and PBC boundary conditions. During simulation, you can see the real-time wave propagation. A color palette on the right-hand side provides reference values for field intensity. Observation points can also be analyzed in real-time. In this particular case, we see the reflected electric field in black and transmitted field in blue. Now, if you want to get a clear representation of what the field propagation looks like, we can use a two-dimensional topographic view. Here we can easily see the electric field as it propagates through our photonic crystal structure. We now continue the simulation process until a steady state response is reached. When the simulation is complete, we can start analyzing the results, such as the transmission and reflection functions, which are represented by the blue and black lines. We will now use OptiFTTD's PWE band solver to find any band gaps that might exist. The band solver works in either one, two, or three dimensions. Simply edit the band solver parameters and hit run. Once the simulation is complete, the graph is populated with a set of eigenfrequencies of individual K vectors. We can now connect these icon frequencies to get a clear picture of the band diagram, and finally, we identify the band gaps.